Hi, I'm John Hawley. I'm in our wine cellar and we're going to talk a little bit about barrel tasting. Virtually all the wines that we make at Hawley Wines are aged in, in barrels. There's a lot of different kinds of, of barrels from different areas, um, different ways of making barrels and toasting it differently. Um, and all those have important impacts on the wine because when we barrel age wine, we're, we have three things going on. We're extracting flavors out of the barrels that are, are unique to the barrels and add dimension to the wine. We're getting a slow oxidation of the wine that develops the varietal character of it and makes the wine open up and come out. And we're also getting a concentration effect because of the evaporation through the, through the barrel of water, the loss of water in the barrel, which runs about four or 5% a year, concentrates the remaining project, product. And so as we leave it in the barrels longer, the wine becomes more and more concentrated and softer and softer. And so we have to periodically taste our wines and see how they're coming along, evaluate, is it time to take it out of barrels? Does it have enough oak? Is the wine soft enough? Um, do we have the concentration we're looking for? And if we leave it in barrels too long, the oak will, will dominate, the wine will eventually become oxidized. So it's an important aspect of the winemaking. Hi, um, my name is Austin Hawley. I make wine here at Hawley Winery. Uh, we are getting ready for a barrel tasting event that's coming up in the next couple weekends and uh, we're going to be offering tastes of our future wines that we'll be bottling in the next year or so. <clears throat> uh, tasting futures can be a lot of fun because you get to try these wines before obviously anybody else does before they're in the bottle. Um, there's a few things to keep in mind when you're tasting through futures. Um, sometimes you can get a little bit higher acidity, higher tannin content than you're gonna taste after it's been in the bottle for some time. Um, but it's also a really wonderful opportunity to try a wine when it's young, and then it, again, you, you know, after it's had some time in the, in the bottle, and also to get it at a really good price. I'm tasting our 2018 Chardonnay from the Russian River Valley. This is, I think, our fourth year that we've been getting grapes from the Hopkins Vineyard, and it's been producing wonderful fruit. This wine has it's been in barrels now for about three months. It, it's got some creamy character from it, but it's still got tons of fruit, uh, kind of lemony, maybe a little bit of peach. Very, very full and aromatic. And in the mouth, it's got that round mouthfeel that you look for in barrel fermented Chardonnays, where there's really no edges to the wine, it just kind of goes on and on. A very promising wine, I think it's going to be great. Whew. Yeah. All right. So this is our Viognier, uh, our Sonoma County Viognier 2018. Uh, this will be bottled in a couple months. Uh, it's a, actually a really beautiful wine. Part of the reason why we do barrel age it is because we want to develop the mouthfeel in it. Uh, you do get a more kind of rich, smoother mouthfeel from the barrel fermentation. Um, you do pick up some aromatics from the oak. Uh, we tend to use neutral oak barrels. You can see this is a 07, 09. The older the barrel, the less oaky character you're gonna pick up from it. So you get some slight nuances of oak, but mainly just a lot of fruit. This is a very fruit driven wine, floral, tropical notes, and a lot of pe that peachy, classic kind of peachy um, nectarine character that you get from, wow, this is really good. Dude, try that. Okay, I'm pulling the bung out. There's a, it's actually a vacuum in the barrel because we fill them to the tippy top and any evaporation that happens, there's no oxygen to replace it. And so you end up with a vacuum in the barrel. So we're not getting oxidation very much in the barrel, just what comes through the staves. This is our Zinfandel from our, our Holly Vineyard, organically grown fruit that's just located just behind the winery. Makes a really awesome wine, very darkly colored as you can see. Just brimming with raspberry and cherry-like flavors. Extremely full body, really soft. It, 
It doesn't need a whole lot of, of aging in order to soften the wine because the wine is already really soft. But it could pick up a little bit more flavor from the oak, which will give it a little bit more vanilla and add another dimension to the wine. I'm Paul Hawley. Uh, this is what we use to take uh, samples out of the barrel. It's called a wine thief. It goes down in and you can pull out a small sample of wine. Um, this is a barrel sample of 2018 Old Vine Zinfandel from Dry Creek Valley. It's coming off of a, a, an old vineyard um, up the valley from us, uh, just a couple minutes. Really nice aroma, spicy, brambly, blackberry, cherry. Young, but it's still uh, already really smooth, um, but nice structure to it. It's gonna age really well. Um, you can tell it's gonna, the concentration is only gonna get better in the barrel. And uh, this is gonna be an amazing wine by the time we bottle it later this year. Our 2017 Pinot Noir from Olman Vineyard. Um, really excited about this vintage. Um, this is, to me, um, just a perfect example of what Pinot should be. It's, it's uh, got that, you know, classic kind of cherry aromas. Um, it's got a little bit of kind of strawberry, um, maybe even pomegranate kind of character, which compared to previous years, I think is a little bit more pronounced. It's a little bit more fresher, um, brighter fruit, very nice and light and refreshing. And um, it's only to get better in the bottle. 